<laughs> well, good morning everyone. It is Sunday and I was meant to do a little talky to camera a bit after the section that you just seen, or in fact I did, um, but it was, oh my god, it was so windy and you cannot hear anything I was saying. So I kind of wanted to recap it and today is like rainy and not really a filming day outside so I thought, well I'll cozy myself up, it's Sunday, I'll have breakfast with you and then I'll just go over <laughs> kind of what I wanted to say um, on location. So I was at um, New Arbor, um, White Beach, um, taking photos of this, these stunning jewellery pieces um, by Element Isle, which is a local jewellery brand on the Isle of Man. Um, and the creator Claire has designed a number of different jewellery pieces that um, well, everything basically links to the Isle of Man and the nature and the diverse. The Isle of Man is, because it's so small, it just has such a, it's like the British Isles in like, or the, the breadth of what the British Isles has, the Isle of Man has in like a really small space. So, like we've got the forests, which I love, they're very, like, I've got an obsession with Scandinavia and... Um, yeah, Iceland and Sweden and that kind of gives me that outlet and um, there's plenty of places that have got that kind of feeling and vibe and then obviously because we're an island we're not very far away from the sea and the coastline is so varied and different. You're right Brody? <laughs> um, Brody just wants to play. <laughs> he loves it when the fire's on. Hot. Um, yeah, it is just, it, like, and the coastline is just, it's got such a wide variety, like, you've got jagged kind of Game of Thrones style rocks where I was at White Beach, quite dramatic, and then if you go further up the coast, there's, like, softer, sandy dunes of beautiful, like, grass that is, like, a lovely, um, greeny, goldy colour, absolutely stunning at sunset. Um... And yeah, so Claire has based all of her jewellery pieces on those elements. So she's got like lots of shells and like beachy, drifty type um, pieces. And then other items are like the nature. So um, all the different varieties of tree and um, like the leaves are just, they are so stunning as a necklace and like a lot of the pieces feel quite ethereal to me which is definitely in line with me and I've always, my family is, or well, my mum has always read Manx fairy tales to me and like I've always been captivated by the magic and the like yeah the stories behind each of the little locations like the mermaids and the like I mean some of the fairy tales are brutal but um yeah I love reading and learning about stuff like that and it does give when you are photographing and stood in different places on the island it gives you a different dimension but anyway I was at Nyarbor taking photos of these which is um it's very wintry themed so these are her part of her North Star collection. Um, so she's got this North Star like um, pendant which is on like a lovely long chain and um, she's just released, so these are new, these are like a, they're shooting stars. So like the premise behind all that is that because the Isle of Man is quite underpopulated, there's so many um, dark skies spots that you can go out and see the like an unlight polluted sky, which is amazing. I went out because I thought it'd be nice to continue the storyline. I had like the dramatic like um, shots with my lantern, um, which I love 
um, with the moody sky and then I thought and the cool colours definitely like just did feel quite Scandi and like North Star kind of related but then to tie it in I've never been the best at dark skies photography mainly because um, I don't like the cold and I don't ever stay up that late either um, I like being cosy as you can see um, so yeah it's always difficult and it can be difficult weather wise to catch like a, a little window where um, you're going to get decent shots of the sky but basically on Tuesday I was like the sky is looking perfect um, so I took my camera, went up to Dolby Mountain which has got some really, it does look very Scandi, very me, pointed the camera up to the sky and there was a Milky Way and shooting stars and I set a time lapse and oh I'm, I am in love with the photographs and I definitely want to do more of it. Um, I've got one printed which I can't wait to receive because this room needs more art and um, it's definitely the room renovation it's in progress uh, but I want yeah some of my own work printed and on the walls so got one ordered we'll see how that turns out if it looks as good on screen as it will uh, hopefully it'll look as good on the wall as it does on screen so I'm excited about that um but yeah right I just wanted to say I think on the beach I was trying to say like I've I've struggled recently like I think you get so far into a, a route and you sometimes get lost in like how many people are watching your videos and how like how many likes you get on social media but actually I think that evening I really felt like it that didn't matter and I was just having so much fun if not, you might have seen like the frustration. I had a 100 to 400, which is like a huge lens. And to be fair, the Sony's 100 to 400, the macro capability is right on the 400 end. So if you know if you know camera speak, you might not get any of that, but that's fine. Um, but it's quite good at capturing like um, small items close up. But you've got a very small field of view and when the wind's blowing, the hair is blowing, the earring is blowing, it is not the easiest thing. Capturing that or getting focus on that is not the easiest at all. <laughs> but actually the new um, my Sony a7 IV was actually, I think I I think if I'd been on my old camera I don't think I would have got the shot but it is very clever and it just locked on one, I think I got one where it was locked on. Some of the blurred ones look cool but I mean when you're a jewellery company wanting to put photos onto your business website you kind of want the piece to be in focus. Um, so yeah I got, I think I got one where the earring was on focus but I love it, it's cool um, and perfect for really I think what Claire wanted. Um, yeah, but yeah, just working that out and being, I watch a lot of, um, I don't know if any of you guys know Joanna Jinton, I'll link it, link her account down below, but I love her, how relaxing her videos are and like the story behind how she gets certain shots and um, she always says that the best shots come from when you're feeling uncomfortable and I was definitely uncomfortable. I'd say like the skirt, I was tripping all over it and yeah and the, like trying to get the tripod to balance on all those rocks, nightmare, trying to light the lamp, another nightmare. I think I shortened down that clip because it was probably about 20 minutes of me lighting matches then blowing out and the lamp not catching. <laughs> um, and then I didn't realise as well that you need to, with those lamps you need to keep um because obviously the wick burns out and once the wick's gone it's gone i thought i'd run out of fuel no it wasn't the fuel it was the wick <laughs> but yeah you work all these things out and the results at the end were amazing so um yeah i just loved it and i just thought i'd 
sit down and chat and just in case anyone else is out there thinking of doing something or are in a similar position to me where you're not getting a million views on your videos but to just like think just enjoy the process and enjoy what you're creating and it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks um yeah I've even in, I've really enjoyed like making more videos and learn and trying to get better at that because like early on and that was the other thing I said on the thing like apologies some of my earlier videos are shocking and I just hope that I am gradually getting a little bit better <laughs> I think someone requested another one of my Christmas videos so I might I'll give that another go this year and we'll see whether I can improve upon last year's I mean I don't, it was quite funny but like I mean kudos to anyone who watched the whole thing all the way through kudos um, but yeah I just wanted to say a big 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 thank you for my 50 views <laughs> actually one, one video's got like 3,000 and again I mean kudos for anyone who's watching that video because it is not the best but I'll keep going I'll keep cracking on and yeah, I'll um, speak to you in the next one. Yeah, I'll, I'll give I'll give the Christmas one. I will give the Christmas one another go. Yeah, we'll see if we can make it a bit better this year. <laughs> but anyway, thank you and um, goodbye from me and Brody and the nice the nice warm the nice warm fire. Bye, bro. Say bye. <laughs> oh yeah, before I go, I wanted to say, if any of, if any of you um, were wondering um, what I had on my jumper, this is in fact a Manx sheep, it's called a Lockton, it's got about, how many horns, it's four horns, and this is like a local artist, she's so cool, I love these jumpers, she does lots of puffins, I am obsessed with puffins, but um, she, um, yeah, she also does these Lockton sheep jumpers, which is Alice Fail, yeah. I'll link her Insta down below for my 50, <laughs> my 50 viewers, but her stuff is so cool. It's a definite, like, rocking around the Alaman on a Sunday with my locked in on. Perfect, hey birds. He's just had his raw food, so he's happy, so I'm going to go and maybe go get my laptop, sit in front of the fire have a look at some new bathrooms and have a think about my Christmas vlog. <laughs> right, lovely speaking to you. Goodbye! Bye 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 bye!